Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, November 6th, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds, Tesla, Kony, Nvidi, Misty, and AMZ. Obviously, a big night last night, a uh, big morning ongoing. Uh, we had the election, and it looks like all you know, some channels are declaring it, some are not, but it looks like Donald Trump is going to win. Uh, obviously, he needs 270 to win. He's three away per market watch. Again, you go to different channels, you get different results. That's how uh, shady this news business is. You can't really get you know the, the honest truth anywhere. But either way, it looks like DJT stock is jumping up along with Tesla and a bunch of others. So uh, pre-market check should be interesting. Also, uh, super microcomputer they had earnings yesterday and they said they can't say when they will file their annual report. So that's not good, man. They got to get auditors in there. They got to get their crap together. Um, I'm sure once they do, everything will be fine. But as of right now, it's dropping even more, unfortunately. So SMCI and SMCY holders are continuing to hold the hurt. Hopefully things get better, though, uh, in due time. All right, so let's get to the trades from yesterday. Uh, lucky for me, again, because of baseball night, last baseball night until winter, uh, whatever. But anyway, only Coney had trades yesterday. So now it very, very interesting trades, to be honest. Um, not sure quite how I feel about it. But anyway, w when you look at the intraday trades, you first would... I always say, look for the BCs. BC, buy to close, buy to close, buy to close, buy to close. Okay, what the heck did they close? All right, BC, you go to the left. You see the 1115, okay, 215, all right. You know, it looks like the synthetic, right? Buy to close a put, yes, that's the synthetic, okay. And you go further down, buy to close put, okay, that's the synthetic. So they had two synthetics, as you may recall, right? And is that the other? Yeah, that's the other synthetic. There was a 1115. And then a, uh, yes, 1220, I believe was the other one. What's that BC on the bottom? Um, 215. Yeah, again, Coney with all these freaking trades. But either way, it looks like they closed out their synthetic and they started a new one. The good thing about the new one, though, man, that goes into 2025. This is what I'm talking about. This is what the synthetic should do, right? In the beginning, it used to be six months out. What are we in? October, right? No, November. Oh my God. December, January. So three months. This is a three month out synthetic. This is a beauty. However, you're closing a synthetic, taking the loss. But, you know, you don't know, you know, Trump was favored to win, right? And he's a crypto guy. So Coney should recover if Trump wins. Why are you closing the synthetic before the election's over? That part I don't get. And if you're going to close it, what about the, uh, you know, the calls, right? The weekly calls. It doesn't look like they closed them. So uh, it's not, I don't think it's going to be pretty. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look at the, at the holdings and we'll go from there. Today's my first day driving to the office in over a month. Not looking forward to it. All right, so... Coin is, um, well, yesterday, coin went up 3.96%. Coney went up 2.83%. So obviously, uh, you know, pretty good stuff right there. But anyway, let's see the new position. So they got a 185. Looks like they opened a 185 synthetic. They're at 193. Damn. All right, so they opened a 185 synthetic that expires uh, February 21st, 2025, and they are already 4.61% above that price. Okay, now if we go to the weeklies, um, again, Friday is what, November 8th? Friday's November 8th, so they, they didn't close any weeklies, right? So they, I think they added to them. But either way, um, the fact that they didn't close the weeklies is a, you know, and they, and they did the synthetic, a little weird, right? Especially with the election. But again, maybe it was too expensive to close them because they, because they had the IV from the election in there. But I don't know. We'll see. 
But these are gonna get these are probably gonna get blown through. The last I checked, crypto was uh, booming. So we have nine thousand contracts, two hundred seven fifty strike. Currently six point nine eight percent out of the money. Eighteen thousand eight hundred ninety contracts, eight point two seven percent out of the money. Ten thousand. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, this is a uh, call credit spread. You see the positive, right? I don't know what's going on there. Oh, I skipped the line. See, what the hell? This is the problem. This is the problem. I'm not the problem, right? All right, anyway, let me fix this for you guys. They make lots of trades. We know that though. All right, so let me just copy this over here. Let me get the final numbers. Scuba Steve, damn you. Boom, boom. Sold call, yes. Call credit spread is up here. Right? Go over here. Yep, call credit spread. Not looking forward to tonight's trades if uh, things keep booming, to be honest. But let me not complain because today's going to suck enough at work. All right, so let me try this again. 10,040 contracts, 200 strike price, 3.11% out of the money. 9,000 contracts, 207.50 strike price, 6.98% out of the money. 18,890 contracts, 210 strike price, 8.27% out of the money. Now, these are probably going to get blown through, so we have to look at the call credit spreads to see, you know, at what point are they going to bail them out, right? The, I see a 10% gap. Again, that's dead money, right? The 207.50, how many is that? 9,000, that's a... About 11% gap almost. Um, and then you got 18,000. You know, this has various, it's kind of scattered uh, synthetics, but oh, huge gap. 11 to 20, 11 to 13% gap on that one, dead zone. So we're going to lose our shirts today. Um, again, I didn't check the pre, pre market, but I did see somewhere that. Uh, you know, MSTR was booming. So I'm assuming coin is going to be booming too. So we're probably going to lose out in the calls for this week. And we do not, I mean, we could have a synthetic ballot. We, we are already up on the 185, but they have the expiration date so far. You would assume they'd leave it alone, but maybe they'll close it already. Uh, I mean, who the hell knows? All right. Anyway, um, let's take a look at the total net asset, 723 mil. The NAV is 1305 and the trade price is 1308. 30 day IV, 85%. IV estimate, 86 cents. Group C um, is, you know, the group they're in and they declare on November 13th, which is seven days away. Next week. Okay. Amazon and AMZ. Am Amazon went up 1.86, AMZ went up 1.85%. Now look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? 0.01% gap. Can't beat that. All right, so how's their synthetic doing? Well, they got what they got. 185 synthetic. Amazon's borderline 200, so they're 7.26% above their synthetic. And their synthetic expires next week. So guess what? They're probably going to make some money on that, which is a good thing. But what about the weeklies? They got to win the weeklies. Well, let's see. This expires 11.8. So we got, what, three trading days, 10,055 contracts, 205 strike price, 2.76% out of the money. Again, we'll check. have to check out the pre-market and all that jazz. But um, I don't know, man. Amazon probably going to go up today as well. And they could lose that call. Their dead zone at least is only 5%. So we'll see how this plays out. They may have to uh, call a synthetic bailout. We'll see. Right now, their synthetic is worth 14.8 uh, mil. Again, if you take the call and the put together. Total net assets, 190 mil. The NAV is 1994 and the trade price is 1995. 30-day IV for Amazon is 26.14%. 
uh, that estimate would come to 40 cents per share, again, simply based on the IV. This, this is a part of Group D who declares in two weeks on November the 20th. Okay, so that was AMZ and Coney. We've been starting with them first because, again, they, they're the only ones that have had trades, um, which, again, which is fine with me, right? Um, but it's, a, it's fine. It's a fine break. But today, I'm hoping no trades at all. But that's very doubtful looking at the pre-market. All right, so here is uh, Tesla, Tesli. So right now, they have a synthetic 245, 1,315 contracts. They don't use this one, but it, it exists. This expires in 10 days, so we'll see how that plays out. Obviously, the, they'll probably make a lot of money on that. And then the 255, this expires on 11.15. It, uh, you know, same thing, 10 days. Right now, they're 1.4% under, but Tesla's probably going to jump up a decent amount today. Um, but again, I don't know where it's going to end up in the week. There's probably going to be like an overbuy today, right? And then maybe Thursday, Friday, it'll kind of settle. But either way, it's probably going to end up, you know, decently above the synthetic strike. Um, even though this expires next week, they may cash it out earlier if we get destroyed on the weeklies. So we'll have to take a look at the weeklies in a second. But yesterday, Tesla did go up 3.54%. Tesla went up 2.83%. Now, let's look at the weeklies. No trades, as we said. So we got what we got. You get what you get and you don't get upset. Apparently, that's like a kid saying, but it um, doesn't work when you say it to them anyway. All right, so what do we got? We got about over 34,000 contracts, all eggs in one basket, 260 strike price, 3.4% out of the money. Again, probably going to get blown through. So we, look, we, we, turn, we turn to security. We turn to our backup. We turn to our butt buddies. All right, but buddies are 9.3% away from helping. That is a 6% gap, 6% dead zone, which whatever. But it looks like the uh, call credit spread will probably have used. I don't know. Is Tesla going to jump up that much, really? We'll see. We'll see. But um, we're prepared for it. Again, we got, we, got, we got a gap there, right? 15 bucks in between. That uh, could be the downside here. Um Outstanding shares did go down by 125,000. Here's the recap though. 30 day IV, 55%. Outstanding shares, 68,925,000. Total net income. Again, this is for Tesla. This is for adding up for payment two, right? We're on payment two. So we, we, we already paid out payment one. Um, so it's 11,226,938 dollars to be exact. That comes to a distribution of 16 cents, daily income, two cents a day, daily yield 0.19%. And if you annualize that, that's approximately 70%. Is that good? Is that good enough for you to annualize 70% on the weeklies? Sure. Reaction? Yeah, he uh, he is a you know happy man this morning. I am sure because he himself, with all of his businesses, he took a big risk, you know, picking a side. Um, which nowadays you can't do unless you want flack, unless you want like put, you know, unless you want negative feedback. Because if either side you go on, you're going to get like reamed, right? But obviously, you know, he chose the winning side. So he this is him smiling. That's the reaction. Um, but, you know, this image may change very soon because we're going to need a bailout for sure. Um, anyway, Group A declares in 21 days which is on November 27th, payment information. What do we got? Well, we got short call income, 11.2 mil, right? We talked about that. That comes to about 16 cents per share. All right, throw that in the rotomator. When all said and done, we're looking at 65 cents. That's a 71% yield, but if you base it on the IV, it looks like 50 cents because the IV is 55%. So right now, Payment estimate anywhere between 55 and 65 cents. Is that good? Let's see. The last distro was 59 cents. So that's kind of in line. All right. Let's move on. Now we go to the holdings. This is where we just look at all of the fund holdings, right? This is everything that Tesla holds. All of this, if you add up the market value, equals the total net assets. 
and you divide that by how many shares are outstanding, and that's the NAV, okay? So if we look, if we look at the pink, right, it's not a gold digger, right? It's it's border, it's it was getting there, right? It was kind of, maybe, but it should be good after today. Again, hopefully both of these make money and Tesla shareholders may, you know, payment two could be a really good payment. Um, unfortunately, you have to look out for the weeklies, though. Again, the weekly may, may cost a pretty penny to close out. Again, they expire in three trading days. So we'll see how this plays out. Um, obviously, there's going to be a lot of volatility today, too. So maybe some sell off somewhere, maybe some, you know, mo a lot of gains in crypto and uh, obviously Tesla. Uh, total net assets, 827 mil. The NAV is 1201. Trade price, 12. Okay, that's good. Synthetic showing negative, so that's pretty useless. So we can move on. Now we go to NVIDIA. <clears throat> NVIDIA has a synthetic 130. Um, 93,340 contracts there. They're above it, right? 7.62% above it. However, it expires in 45 days, which falls after the... Um, Next earnings call, which I'm showing, is November 26th. I haven't checked it in a while. Again, when I add the earnings date, guys, it shows as the estimate. And a lot of these companies do change the date. So if you do catch that I have the earnings date wrong, please uh, correct me. I don't care if you correct me. I want you to correct me. Um, no reason to be nasty about it, right? You could be nice about it. I know some people love to correct me. And they say it in a sometimes a negative fashion. Which again, I don't care as long as you as long as you tell me, but no need for that, right? Anyway, anyway, Nvidia went up two point eight four percent. Nvidia went up two point zero eight percent. All right, so decent day. Let's see, what do we got? We got weeklies. Are we gonna win? Are we gonna win the week? Come on, come on. All right, so if we look here, we got two strikes, twenty seven hundred contracts, one thirty nine strike. This is in the money by 0.65%. Not, not good. The, uh, the uh, buy call bailout, right? <laughs> the uh, call credit spread bailout, 6.5% away from helping. So, yeah, we got about like a 7% dead zone there. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. 90,640 contracts, 140 strike price. <sighs> at the money. Yikes. 0 0.06 at the money. Not good. Not good at all. All right. Outstanding shares. Nothing. Nobody bought NVIDIA? How dare you? All right. 30-day IV, 56%. Outstanding shares, 49925000 Total net income, 19 mil. That comes to a distribution of $0.38, cents, a daily income of a penny, daily yield of 0.06%. And if you annualize that, that's about 20%, which, yeah, that sucks. But again, we're making money at least. Today is the important announcement. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I declare NVIDIA and we're going to pay. Who the hell knows, right? Who the hell knows? Could be two, could be a little less. Again, I think I said $1.85. I don't even remember at this point, but whatever. They're going to pay what they're going to pay. They'll declare today and you'll have this entire day to make a decision if you want to buy in for today and qualify for the distribution, but you have to hold it until tomorrow. Why? Because tomorrow the, the fund is ex dividend date and will drop by the amount of the distribution plus or minus movement in the underlying. Okay. 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 I forget what, what, what show is that from? I can't remember. Anyway. Um, so here's the summary. Here's what we got. Here's the closeout numbers. 91.5 mil in synthetic. Boom. Short call income, 19 mil. Boom. Um, net income, 110 mil. So we got total income per share of 221. So if they paid $2, there's no issue with that. No issue for me. No issue from you, I'm sure. So go ahead, do it. But I mean... Is, it, is, is Are things always going to be, you know, in the positive? It's just at the beginning of the year. Maybe hold some back, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, I don't know, man. They may start this year off with a bang, say, bam, two bucks, baby. Beat that, other funds. I don't know. I don't know. A lot of competition out there. Although it's hard. No one's really touching Yield Max. I know Yield Boost was supposed to, but 
they're clearly having trouble getting things approved, I guess. I have no idea. But right now, I think I had, like I said, a dollar, a little under two bucks. That's probably what they're going to do. We'll see, though. Happy to be wrong. Um, in the On the upside, hopefully it's up above my price. Anyway, Rodimator, what does it say? Well, it's useless, right? Because our weeklies don't produce or aren't producing that great of an income. So we have to focus on the IV. The IV is 56%. That shows $1.22. So they'll pay anywhere from $1.22 to $2.21. Sound good? That sounds good, right? All right, let's go to the holdings. What do we got going on here? We got synthetic, 130. Yeah, pink. Pink is a, uh, you know, broke-ass girl. Cheap date, nice. We can afford her. Why? Because we got 154 mil in orange, right? That's the call, right? That's the dude in this scenario. The pink, the pink is the lady, right? The pink is the expense. Ladies are an expense, right? Anyway. Um, she's not a gold digger. That's the important piece. Um, uh, but that's, again, that's my analogies I use. Hopefully you enjoy it. But uh, either way, it's a good spot to be in. So what about the calls? They got the 139. They got the 140. Is it looking good? No, it's not. But we got three trading days to talk about it. All right. Total net assets, 1.2 billion. NAV is 2593. Trade price, 2598. Five cent gap. Again, we got massive synthetic bailout money. We got 100 mil. So here you go. How about we all get a mil, right? What would you do with a mil? Would that be enough? If you had a million dollars given to you, what would you invest in? Would you invest in freaking Yulmax? Or would you invest in SCHD and all them? What would you do? I don't know. I would play. The op I would options everywhere. I would have an options channel party. Anyway, let's move on. Let's quit dreaming, right? Um, so let's talk about Misty. Uh, that was NVIDI, obviously. So last but not least, Misty. Some say Misty's the GOAT. Misty is quite the monster, that is for sure. Um, they're synthetic. It was not looking good, right? They had 32,460 contracts. It's still, as of the close, 10.67% under. And it, this synthetic expires on 11.15. They did not close it, though, like Coney did. Coney closed their synthetic. They made a new one right before election. I don't know. But uh, either way, this expires in 10 days. We'll see how this plays out. Let's go to the weekly. How did MSTR do yesterday? Um, what was yesterday? The 5th? Wow, I didn't update it. What a guy I am, huh? So what do I do, guys? You guys are always curious when I update my spreadsheets. Uh, which, by the way, I'll, I'll do like a live video, me updating my spreadsheets after the close one day. If that does interest you guys, let me know. Happy to do that. Of course, if I have the time um, and peace and quiet in the house. Uh, so yeah, so that's 220. So I look at the top. These are live numbers for the prices. So if I did not update that, did I update... Um, the number of days, I don't know. Daily income, I have 12, right? So it should be about seven away from Tesla. I definitely updated Tesla. That's at seven. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that now. 26. That's seven. I'll have to double check these. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. 12 don't seem right. Um, because when the hell did they declare? I don't know. I'll have to go through the numbers, but the it may have to be it may have to be 14. I don't know how I missed missed that, but this is the problem of manually updating your spreadsheet. You could you could miss a day. But that's I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a plus one for now. Cause clearly I didn't update the spreadsheet, but um am I off one day? I'd rather be off one day than two days. All right, so let's just take a look where we stand um for MSTY. What do we got? We got synthetics, yeah, mostly all eggs in one basket. So we'll cover that. The 255, right? What do they got? About 30,000 contracts, 255, 11.94% out of the money. Is that safe? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And then they got 1,330 contracts. That's a 245. That's 7.55% out of the money. 
Uh, but we don't know, man. Crypto could be going up today. So these, the problem is, and this is my problem. This is, this. I just don't look at the buy call. Look at the call credit spread. How is, how is that helpful? How is that helpful? 25% gap. That's just disgusting. I mean, I get it's volatile, but what? It, I'd rather have nothing, right? Nothing. Are we going to go up 34%? Like, get the hell out of here. Anyway, outstanding shares did go up by 50K. So we'll see how it plays out. But here's, here's my prediction, all right? You want a prediction from me? Here's my prediction. We blow through the 255. We blow through the 245. And we don't even touch the 310 or the, uh, well, we could touch the 285. But it's possible we don't. But even if we do, even if we land in the 290 area, we're screwed, right? We're screwed. We're screwed either way, to be honest, right? So Because they, they blew through those calls. So either way, you lost. If you blow through your calls, you lose. But the point of the call credit spread is to offset the loss, to limit the loss. So are we ex just accepting a loss of that big of a gap? That, what is the point then? I just don't, I don't, I don't get it. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely, we got to talk to Jay about that one. I mean, I, I really, why? Why, why do that? I don't know. Makes me want to not buy Misty, to be honest, but it's a, uh, it's a tough one. I don't want to do options on MSTR though. So that's why I do invest in Misty. Um, but maybe I should reconsider who the hell knows 30 day IV, 111%. Outstanding shares, 28.3 mil. Total net income is net, you know, it's a loss, right? Because they can't make money here. 16.6 6 mil. All right, what's the reaction? You synthetic bailout. Yeah, we have the life vest. You know, it's ready. It's ready. We're going to throw in the water. We're going to save the weeklies because they're probably going to get their asses kicked. And the call credit spread is probably going to be useless. Not to be a Debbie Downer on such a green day, possible green day. But we'll see. We'll see, man. 14 days till uh, declaration. Yeah, so if it's 14 days till declaration, we should at least be 14 days in. Yeah, so that should be 14. Right? I mean, what the hell am I doing? Someone smack me. Yeah, this shit, man. It can get, uh, it can get a little crazy. All right, so what have we got? Here we go. Synthetic income, 204 mil. Noise. Short call loss, 16 mil. So we'll net the two. We have an 187 mil total net income. That's a total net income per share, 662. So as much as we're bitching here at the same time, they're still producing 662 per share. But why? How are they doing that? Synthetic income. What is synthetic income? It's the underlying. So thank you, underlying. No thank you, weeklies. Because if you think about it, the synthetic, all it does, it's, it's the holding. That's all it is. It's just a contract, right? So we have to settle it at some point, right? If they were just holding the stock, they don't have to sell it, right? So, I mean, you can't, you wouldn't, we wouldn't give them credit for holding the stock. So should we give them credit for creating a synthetic position? No, we should give them credit when they win the weeklies. That's the important part. So I'm not going to be like, Woo! Great job, synthetic income, right? I want weekly freaking income too, right? <clears throat> synthetic income, they have no control of that. This, you know, and the same thing on the flip side. When the stock goes down, that's because the underlying, right? So we can't yell at them at that either. So uh, I don't know, man. I just uh, sometimes these trades just anyway. Um, I'm not going to sing Gold Digger because, again, I saw the pre-market. MSTR is looking really, really green. So we're about to kick this Gold Digger to the curb, to be honest. So see you later, lady. Um, now, what do we got for the weeklies? I'm, I'm not talking about them anymore. So let's move on. Total net assets, 777 mil. The NAV is 2748 and the trade price 2749. Great. Synthetic bailout, again, we're not, you know, that's that'll change. So we'll, we'll see how things go today. Uh, but now the fun part, we get to look at the pre-market and see what the heck is going on. All right, so where do we go right here? All right, we are on marketwatch.com. Uh, 
four and five chance. All right, so they're still playing around. Not saying he won. I don't know. Whatever. Um, all right, so this is as of, where am I? 5.02 a.m. All right, so here we go. Tesla is up 13.9%. It's currently at 286. Tesla is up 10.33%. It's at 1324. NVIDIA is up 1.79%. It's at 142.42. See, see what I mean? Like some stocks, they don't really, you know, the election cycle, no, no really big change for them, like NVIDIA. Um, NVIDIA is up 1.04%. They're at 26.25. Here we go, man. Coin. Coin, look at that. Up 13.32%. It's at 219.80. Wow. Could have made money on those synthetics that they closed out. But obviously, they'll make money on the current synthetics. I know. Uh, Kony is up 9.02%. They're at 14.26. So they're capped, right? They're capped. Um, essentially, right? They're up 13 and they're only up nine. So we'll see how this goes. MSDR is up 13.16%. They're at 257.89. Misty is up 8.04%. They're at 29.70. TSLL is up 28%. Kind of bittersweet. Um, I did have 400 uh, contracts yesterday and I debated. Uh, I debated on... You know, well, towards the end of the day, I had 400 left. I was going to hold them. And I was like, you know what? Let me just sell two. And I did because I played as if I'm, I'm going with either side, right? If either side won, it wouldn't matter because I was left over with 200 contracts. However, since I did uh, sell two, obviously, I'm going to be, they're going to be assigned looking at the numbers. So damned if you do, damned if you don't. The thing with options, though, you can't let, you're what you think is going to happen or what the market thinks, you know, you got to just play the income game. And I did play the income game and I did make income. So I have to live with the decision and it's okay. It's okay. I still have 200 shares that are uncapped, right? They're on the loose. They're earning money. So if TSLL can, wants to go up, that's fine. However, I feel like Tesla, it's going to be overbought today and then probably chill out by the end of the week. I don't know where it's going to land though, but TSLL, I don't want it to go up that high to be honest cuz I want it to stay affordable. 15 bucks, man, that's not cool. Anyway, TNA, look and oh my god, small business, you know, they like the result. 17 it's up 17%. I guess my $42 put is a uh, expiring worthless. Good lord, it's probably going to cost me a penny to close. But is there a point? I don't know, maybe. Um so yeah, they're at 5351. Again, I don't like it because now this is unaffordable to trade options on. I mean, it's great to see it go up, but I'm looking at affordability for my options trading journey. AMDY is up 0.64%. They're at 1255. AMZY, oh my god, $20. Hell yeah. It's up 0.25%. It's at 20 bucks. Bitcoin, oh my god, it's up 6.23%. It's at 73,768 bits X, of course, going up to 13, it's up 13.25%. It's at 3676. Um, SOXL is up 4.27%. I have a $33 call expiring this Friday. That is in danger of getting assigned, of course, um, since it's 3271 at the moment. I do have puts, so obviously my puts I could probably close out early. But since it's an office day, there's going to be minimal to no options trading for me because, um, as I said, really, really, really busy day in the office today. And I, by the way, I'm not don't wait for me for a video on these uh, declarations. I don't even know if I'm going to get one out. Definitely not at lunch. I don't even know about after hours. So may have to wait until the weekend until I cover that with the, uh, the new estimates. All right. Super microcomputer. Uh, they're currently not updated because they're useless. I don't know why it keeps doing that. But anyway, what did they close at yesterday? 2770. It shows 2240. So that's not good. Uh, but yeah, man, SMCI continues to take some damage. It's at 2873. Yeah, I don't know, man. It, it sucks. It's down 8.59%. Palantir is up 3.93%. It's at 5314. Plady is up. 0.01%. It's at 5727. Okay. So that's where we end up. Um, so that's the update. Again, 
minimal trades, but a lot to cover. You know, there's a lot to cover if we want to talk about these funds every day. I did make a Palantir video yesterday. I mean, a Platy video. I covered Platy, I covered TSMY, <clears throat> and I covered SMCY holding style. Uh, but I did make it a members only video if you guys want to check that out. If you're part of the ROD Wolfpack, if you're not, you can go check it out if you want to be a part of it. But I do plan on covering random funds uh, for the ROD Wolfpack, um, which is, you know, the people helping out my channel. So I just want to show them some love. But as always, guys, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So hopefully you had fun. Hopefully you're entertained. If not, we will try again tomorrow. Again, a lot is going to change this week. We could get blown through on a lot of these calls, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Again, we are in this for, you know, the income, right? They want we want them to make us income. And we want it to be because of what they're doing, not because of what the underlying doing. You know, we're not going to we're not going to fault them when the underlying goes down and we're not going to give them praise when the underlying goes up. It's not how this works. We want to give them praise when they win the calls <clears throat> week to week to week because that's the part we can't do, right? We can buy and hold a stock. That's basically like the synthetic, right? So anyway, guys, um, I'm done harping on that. But um, if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button. It does go a long way and I do greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, yeah. So today, um, I guess I'll throw a key word out there. If you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, you have to say the keyword. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to make my keyword, um, you know, the politic based. Um, I did. I did yesterday. Right. So today we know we know who won. We don't have to go down that road again. Right. We, we don't have to talk about it. Right. Because I know some people get upset on here. It's all good, man. Again, we don't it's not a really a politics channel anyway. It's just about investing. But yes, politics affects the stock market. All right. There's nothing you could do about it. So it has to be mentioned. But anyway, since I'm going back to the office for the first time in over a freaking month since that little baby deer hit my car, how dare you? I'm going back to the office and I'm not only going back to the office, but I have to present in front of all these people that make a lot of money, right? Yay. Yay for me. Yay. Can I retire yet, by the way? Seriously. Can I freaking retire? What do I got to get to? 100,000 subs? All right, we'll get there, guys. You guys going to help me out? Um, by the way, if I'm retired, you can imagine how many funds I can cover, right? But um, anyway... I think the key word today is back to office. Um, so if you made it this far in the video and you want to prove it, today's key word is back to the freaking office because nobody wants to go to the freaking office. Everyone wants to work from home. Why? Because you could do the same damn job at home that you do in the office. That's why. Well, mostly. Some jobs you can't. I get it. But Anyway, um, I just want to say, if you made it that far in the video, obviously, you guys are awesome. And thank you very much. I got to get this uploaded. I got to get showered. I got to get moving. I got to blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I got to make sure my pants fit. I'm probably going to have to go on a crash diet if my pants don't fit. I didn't even think about think that far ahead. But because uh, I've been, you know, when you work from home that many days in a row, you get a little comfortable, right? In your loose pants. So uh, we'll see how this goes. It could be a very, very uncomfortable day. Um, but anyway, guys, I just want to say again, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Later.